Okay, so just got through watching, of course, the newer one. Um, it was fairly interesting. Uh, not as... The, the beginning's a little slow. Um, basically, we start off with uh, Bill and some of her friends going around looking for... Uh, a place to live, basically, and they're going to all be sharing it. Um, so they're looking for, you know, a fairly decent sized house with like six rooms or six bedrooms. Um, uh, after they f go through a few, go back, and can't find a place, this weird guy pops out and, and he basically, you know, gets them signed up in this, like, really old house um they do a little bit of foreshadowing with like some creaking of the house and then some music which is more foreshadowing and then somebody gets well somebody disappears basically um then we pop over to bill and she is having the doctor basically help her move by using the whole TARDIS, you know, appearing um, where her stuff is, and so it all gets loaded into the TARDIS. She didn't have much. And then they pop over to the new place, but one, she doesn't know where she stays. She doesn't know what her room, which one her room is. And two, she doesn't really want the doctor there. So she kind of tries to chase him away, but he's persistent. He makes a reappearance in a closet. Um, he gets introduced uh, just before that as her grandfather. <laughs> and then, of course, he uh, he tries to get around that same father and all this and that. But <laughs> it's, it's yeah, standard Doctor com you know, comedy. Um... Then we move on with everybody's getting in, basically. And then things start happening. Um, bugs start appearing, but they're not regular bugs. They, like, wiggle through wood. And this is really kind of creepy, especially if you're, if you don't, I would imagine, if you really don't like insects, that, that, you know, that would throw you for a loop. Um, so one by one, the, uh, you know, friends get eaten up by the house. Um, and then we discover, oh, wait, you know, uh, this is what's going on. You know, um, and then, of course, the doctor discovers what's going on. And so he, of course, tries to save Bill because she's about to be eaten. And it turns out that uh, this person that was renting the place is who's behind all this. Uh, was trying to keep who he says is his daughter alive, but instead, it's not his daughter. Uh, we get the big, uh, uh, you know, uh, twist, as it would be, and it's his mother, uh, but she didn't remember. Uh, it's been 70 years, I believe they said, uh, the doctor basically, you know, uncovers it by going through his normal rant, and after a little bit, you know, he's... He basically says, well, you're the mother, you know, you take charge. And so she's able to control the bugs, gets them, you know, gets herself and her uh, son, basically, uh, eaten up because she doesn't want to keep living like that, I guess, and doesn't want him to try and keep doing this to keep her alive. Um... And then she also like reforms everybody that got eaten by the house 
that night or that throughout the past few days. And unfortunately, there were others before then, but I guess the energy already got dispersed in her or something. So, you know, they don't get, they don't get, I guess, reformed or whatever. Um, and the house just collapses and just gets eaten up by the bugs. And then it's gone. Honestly, it's very short. The only thing that was really, really interesting was the end, where the doctor comes back to the university and basically talks, which is more foreshadowing, um, to whoever's in the vault. Uh, we hear some music playing, and then he says, oh... You know, he's talking to whoever's in the vault. Uh, I've got a story for you. Do you want to have lunch? Personally, I'm thinking that Missy is in there. That's what I'm thinking. Somehow he found her or something, and he's got her locked up. So, I don't know, but that's, honestly, it sounds what it sounds like to me. <laughs> Um, sorry for such a short vid, and, I mean, the, the video, I mean, the, the, mo the, the episode wasn't that complicated, um, didn't really push any background story, except for, you know, the end result foreshadowing, but that was just a couple of minutes, so it's, I mean, there's not much to talk about there. Um. Uh, Oh, well, hopefully I can get my next one out sooner t to the, you know, episode coming out. Uh, if y'all are, of course, interested in my takes and opinions. <laughs> well, have a good one.